everybody and welcome to Multilingual Family. Has it happened to you that you're constantly thinking about how you can pass the languages that are important to you to your child? The rule number one that you hear everywhere and that is backed by science is to read, 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 read a lot of books and speak a lot to your child and also spend quality time with him. And I must say those things are great. They are definitely one of the best methods to, to pass on a language. But let's be honest, you don't always have that much energy and time to be talking, talking, talking and reading books day in and day out. You also have a life of your own, right? So there must be other resources and thankfully there are resources, great ones, that can be used to support you on this not very easy task of raising multilingual children. Today I'm going to tell you everything about recording stories. But before I start, just let me give you a brief theoretical background about language acquisition. When it comes to learning languages, you need to go through certain steps in the right order. And that goes like this, listening, speaking, reading and writing. So if your child is not speaking yet, you have to think about how much input you're giving it. A child starts understanding words and sentences once it has heard it for several times, but it needs much more input. It needs to hear a word and a phrase hundreds of times before it can reproduce it. And that's called passing um, the passive vocabulary to the active vocabulary. I'm going to concentrate today on the listening skill. I'm going to tell you a little story that made me very happy that happened just two days ago. So when Laia, my little baby, was in my belly, I was already thinking about how can I expose my child the most to Spanish because we live in Switzerland and so uh, the only one that speaks to her in Spanish is me and my brother. And I thought I need to make sure that she gets enough exposure. So. One day I opened a drawer and I found this device. It's a digital voice recorder that my dad gave to me when I was studying. And then I came to the idea to make my parents that don't live next to us, live, they live far away. I, I, I thought, okay, why don't they record some stories? And that's what I did. I gave my mom some stories that I thought were cute and asked her to please record those. So she happily did that. And when Lai was a really small baby, sometimes when she went to sleep and or was in bed and was not that tired, I put some music or sometimes some other stories. And sometimes I played these stories that my mother recorded. For one and a half years, I obviously didn't get any response of my child. I, I didn't know if it had any effect on her, but deep inside I knew that's for sure helping as well. Up until now, now she's almost two and she's starting to say a lot of words and some phrases in all three languages and it's hilarious, we laugh a lot. So I, when she goes to bed, I said like, do you want some music? And sometimes she says no. And it's okay, you don't want music, that's fine, good night, and I just go, you know. But sometimes she says yes, and then I let her pick which song or which music, type of music she wants. She points at it, you know. I asked her and she said yes, and then all of a sudden she says Abu. And Abu is the grandmother, is my mother, she calls her Abu from Abuela. And she says Abu, and then I ask again, I said, do you want me to put the stories that Abu tells you? And she says yes. And then I thought, mm. I was not sure if she was just saying yes and no randomly or if she was actually meaning it. So what I did was, I was a little mean and I, <laughs> and I put some music instead of the stories just to see if she reacts. And as soon as I put the music, Laia started complaining. No, 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 she says, no, no, abu, abu. <laughs> And then I start laughing, you know, because I, I realized this little girl already knows what she wants and she definitely wants the stories that the grandmother tells, you know, the recorded stories. So I said, okay, it's fine. I'm going to put the stories of Abu. And so I put them on and then she was happy. 
She didn't say anything else. She said like this, goodbye. And then I went And out. I was just completely happy because I realized that many good things happen already in this one and a half, two years. First of all, my mother has managed to connect with my daughter. And a few times that she has been here, she has been very active, very, has been intensively spending time with her. And Laia already connects good emotions with my grandma, uh, with my mother. The second great thing is that she recognizes the voice and she knows that ah, person that's speaking there is not just somebody, it's Abu. And I don't know if she realizes that the grandmother is actually not there, that it's just a recording, but it doesn't matter. The thing is, she realizes that that's a person that she likes, a person that means something to her, and that she wants to listen to the stories. So that's a great thing, because in the end, that's what you want to achieve. You want to connect the languages that you're passing on to your children with emotions, with positive emotions, and with people that, that mean something to you in your life, family, friends. So I will definitely keep on doing this and I will definitely try other family members to, to record stories because they cannot always be here. But like this, I can at least make sure that she doesn't forget about them. I leave you with those thoughts. Please try it out. I encourage you to try it out, to see what works, what doesn't. Uh, write to me, give me a comment, share this video.